Hi there. In this short topic video, we're going to take a look at another common and popular concept in operations management called quality control. Now, quality control, of course, is an important part of the overall strategy of how a business manages its quality. A key thing to remember is there are two main ways of doing this. One is the subject of this short video, quality control. This is about inspection, inspecting products and trying to take the defective products out. The alternative is a thing called quality assurance. Quality assurance isn't about inspection. It's about putting business processes in place that assure the quality of output. In other words, it tries to build quality in and doesn't rely on inspection to take defects out. So quality control, quality assurance sound similar, but they are quite different. Quality control is based on inspection. Quality insurance is, is based on trying to build quality into the business processes. Quality control can be defined as the process of inspecting products or output to ensure that the output meets the required quality standards. So there's the key word, inspecting. A quick overview of what we mean by quality control. Well, firstly, it's a very traditional and still popular way of trying to manage the level of product quality and it involves this concept of inspecting trying to check and look at output as it goes through the production process the main objective of quality control is to detect defective output rather than allowing it to go out and reach the customer and of course it's not always possible to check all the output so normally this requires some kind of sampling uh, you take a representative sample of the output to see whether it met the quality standards. Having spotted some substandard output, you remove it and it simply doesn't get to the customer. But of course, what you're really trying to do is to see whether the results of the quality control checking suggest a broader issue with quality in the business. With too much sampling, too much detection, too much inspection, of course, quality control can soon become quite an expensive or costly process. Three main points in the operation when inspection is carried out. Firstly, when the inputs into the production process are received, for example, you might check the quality of the raw materials as they're received. Let's imagine a, a restaurant here. You check the quality of the ingredients that are received in the restaurant, in the, uh, in the kitchen each day. You might just do it on a sample basis, maybe every day, every other day, one, one day or month, but you're checking the inputs. Also, you check, you control and inspect as the products are going through the production process. So the chef may be doing some sampling on what on the stuff that his other team are producing just to see whether it meets the standard. And finally, you also check when products are finished before they get sent to customers. So again, in our case of a, a restaurant here, the chef may quickly check the final plate before it's sent out to the customer at the table. Now, of course, there are clearly some business benefits of using quality control, and that's the reason why it's so widely used. Perhaps the most important is it tries to make sure that substandard output products or services that are not fit for what the customer needs and expectations are. It tries to stop them from reaching the customer and therefore an unhappy customer receiving a substandard product. Quality control, if the sampling is quite well organized, can be done with fairly minimal disruption to production. And also what you're trying to do is you're trying to apply that consistent standard so you can raise the standard of, of what you believe to be acceptable. And if you raise the standard, it may mean that more products fail the quality control check. However, there are some issues with quality inspection. We've mentioned one of them already. It can be quite a costly process. And of course, if it's taking place mainly at the end of the production process, i.e. just before the finished good is sent out, that's potentially too late because you've invested a lot of time and cost in getting the product, the substandard product, to that stage of production. There's also a risk that the quality inspections are inconsistent. So one inspector's standards are different from another. And of course, the inspection is being done usually by inspectors rather than by employees themselves. So there may well be a lack of feedback from the quality inspection and sampling back to the production teams to say how they could improve. That's been an overview of quality control. In a separate video, we take a look at the alternative, which is called quality assurance.